If you have extra stuff lying around or simply want to put your unique items on display, then this cabinet could be a good addition to your home. Welcome back to OFAR. My name's Kevin, and today we'll be taking a quick look at the Haga cabinet from IKEA. And like always, if you shop at IKEA for furniture, you know what to do. Click that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any of our furniture review videos. First, we'll take a look at what you should expect out of the top shelving unit, and then we'll move on to the bottom storage area. On the very top, you get a small shelf where you can place smaller objects for display. Basically things that you won't need to get to throughout the year. The rest of the upper unit has three shelves and four places where you can store all sorts of objects. You can store books that you'll never read or items that you think add more life to your living space. The lowest compartment has a bit more space vertically, so you can place larger things like chests or boxes. You can use this space to store items that you might use once in a while. I would also like to add that the middle shelf doesn't come with the option of being adjusted. The only shelves that can be altered in height is the top one and the bottom one. IKEA provides you with three levels of adjustment, which are about one and three quarters of an inch apart. If you place each shelf in the middle level, then you get a spacing of about 10 inches. Now the bottom part of the high cabinet has two shelves and three compartments for storage. Each shelf can be adjusted either up or down one level, and if you place the shelves in the middle, the distance between them are eight and a quarter inches. You get a bit less space height-wise when comparing it to the top unit. This is an excellent spot to store any items in which you don't want them to collect extra dust, like glasses for parties or extra blankets you want to put away after a long winter. I didn't see any problems with the doors of the cabinet, as they open and close pretty smoothly. There's also these plastic stoppers in the middle to keep the doors flush. I found the overall structure of the cabinet to be pretty stable, other than the top swaying a bit from side to side. IKEA provides you with safety hardware so you can fasten the Haga cabinet to the walls safely. The Haga series comes with only two color options, and in my opinion, I would go with the gray as I found the white to show scratches more easily. Plus, you have to clean the dust more often as white makes it stand out more. If you're interested in this high cabinet, then it should take you around an hour to finish the whole assembly. Surprisingly, the three packages of the IKEA Haga cabinet can also fit in a small car if you put the back seats down. In Canada, this cabinet goes for $199, and in America, it goes for $149. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video, and screw that subscribe button if you want to see more furniture review videos.